Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Don't Starve. Last time we left off, we played uh, a little bit of, what's it called, Adventure Mode, and we ended up beating it, and we also did this mod right here called The Screecher, which is a horror mod. It's really awesome. Check it out, uh, either by playing it yourself or watching the video, whatever you would prefer, but uh, it's a very scary one, so I guess I'll warn you about that. But anyway, today we are going to be playing a new file, so we're going to go to play, new game, and we're going to choose a different character, and I've been requested to play this character many, many times, so that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to check to see if we have everyone unlocked now. Yes, we do. We have Maxwell. Alright, let's see what it says about him, too. Okay. Is dapper but frail, can fragment his mind, brings his own sword. He seems really cool, but character I'm going to be playing as today is this guy in the middle right here. Woody, the Lumberjack. That's a nice tree, eh? Uh, yeah, he's Canadian, so there you go. Anyway, he comes with his own axe and he has a terrible secret, so um, we'll find out about that stuff later in the playthrough. But basically, what I'm going to do is kind of just mainly play in sandbox mode. I did add another mod to the list to make this playthrough a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to go through sandbox mode and try to take Woody down the path of everything from science to magic and maybe explore some caves and all while surviving and not starving. So, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be a little bit harder without, you know, I'm so used to WX-78 relying on the gears and food not going bad. So it'll be a little bit harder in that regard, but I don't know. It'll be really fun, so apply, and should we go into any of the world options? Let's see. Hmm. No, I think I probably want to leave this all the same, but it is showing, like, all the different things you can do with monsters and resources and how often they appear and whatnot, and you can change your world size, land branch, I don't know what that is. Your weather, your seasons, your days. But uh, I'm going to leave that all default, so let's just start off. And we will do a... Well, we'll do three-day episodes, but... Yeah, I don't know. And uh, the the mod I added was RPG items, which is really cool. Oh, maybe I'll be able to... Start. New World, Woody, and there's Maxwell. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You'd better find something to eat before night comes. And he's actually right, because time actually passes when you do that cutscene. So, anyway, here we are. And we already have an axe. Lucy the axe. Did you miss me? That was Lucy talking. Yes, this axe is talking. It is possessed. I don't know. And Woody, well, he is a lumberjack by trade. That is what he does for a living before... Or what he did for a living before he got put into this crazy world. Anyway, we're going to gather our basic resources for now, and then... What I'm going to do after that is probably get some farms going if I can. Because that way we don't really have to worry about food and we can get like a little base going. And everything will work out really nicely, hopefully. And we got a little bit of food right here. It's a pretty good start. to it's such a small area. There's some berries already over there. Alright, and what I'm going to do is free that up and the flowers there. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, I'm going to show you what happens with Woody when he tries to cut down a tree. Yeah, look how fast he's chopping that tree. And the axe likes it. Yeah! So Woody is very good at this, which uh, is pretty awesome. I, I kind of like that about him. How you don't... I mean, you basically just, like, the trees just get, like, vaporized by how fast he chops them with that axe. And I like the look of the axe, too. It's got that red and silver-ish. It's not just a completely uh, flint-based axe like the normal axes are. And that also saves us some flint because we'll never have to craft an axe. This axe does not break. It was really cool. And as you can see at the top here, this map is transparent, so, well, when you don't hover your mouse over it, you can see through it, which is nice. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully it's not too much in the way. If it's too much of a distraction, I can take it down. It's not really a big deal. But it is a very nice feature. I like it a lot. 
Um, and the RPG items thing. Maybe I won't be able to explain that right away. Or maybe I will. You know what? I'm gonna make a pickaxe pretty soon, and when I make it, I might be able to have something to explain. Man, this is a great starting area. It's so much good stuff. Let's cut down these trees, too. We'll get him chop those trees. Woody, you are the best Canadian lumberjack I ever know. All work and no play makes me... Oh, I, I... I couldn't see all that. Sometimes I talk too fast in this game. But then again, I'm a slow reader, so maybe you guys caught it. But once again, if you really care that much about what the things say, you have the option of pausing and reading, which I do not. You're not looking so good. Why not? Woody looks fine. Look at him. And he's got an epic beard. Uh-oh. What the heck is this? Um... What the heck? I'm a giant beaver. Uh, can I eat? Can I gnaw that rabbit? Let's gnaw him. Get over here, rabbit. <laughs> I, I love this. This is awesome. Let's see if we can gnaw the bird. Get over here. Oh, we got him. That is sweet. Before he flew away, we got him. I uh, couldn't get that one. That's probably really rare for that to happen. Oh my god, he gnawed him right out of midair. Oh my god, that, that is hilarious. Um, uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. This doesn't seem to want to wear off. I'm guessing this is what wears it off, and let's see, if you eat more logs, it, like, disappears, or it goes up, right? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we can eat the small trees to, like, extend it. I just hope we don't die when it's nighttime. I'd assume we probably wouldn't. I can't. Lucy, I can't take you with me. Oh, sweet, you can get the stump, too. Let's eat that. So, um, I guess we can just kind of survive for the night like this, because, um... Even if I wasn't eating these logs right now, it would not have worn off in time. We would have... It would have worn off in the middle of the night, thus killing us. But what I can do is just, uh... Gnaw things, I guess. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this is so cool. Woody, the Canadian lumberjack beaver thing. <laughs> you just gnaw the birds right out of the air. That is awesome. Okay, I didn't expect this to be honest. Um, all right, I but uh, I did do, know about it. I just uh, it was very unexpected. Um, that's what happens when Woody chops too many trees at once. It turns into this thing, which is uh, called a wear beaver. And let's see if we can gnaw that guy. No pea sauce coming all the way. And the were beaver is really good. It's very powerful. And it can gnaw birds out of the air, apparently. But, um... Yeah, they... I've actually played as Woody before, so I... And I haven't actually ever played as the were beaver actually. Alright, are we gonna be okay? Yeah, we're gonna be okay. So I'll stop gnawing logs so we can have this wear off. But, and all my time is playing as Woody, I've chopped that many trees and I haven't gone into this were beaver form before, until now. I guess what we can do is kind of like scout ahead in the night or something, I mean, we can't die. Which is awesome. Oh, and he's got a... is that a mustache? I think he has a mustache, that is the greatest. Woody the Canadian Lumberjack that's also a beaver with a mustache. Perfect. Best character ever. So glad you guys wanted me to play as him. Alright, so let's just scout the area out. Especially, this is good for exploring at nighttime. You know, this character would be really, really good for adventure mode too. Just go into um, where beaver mode like this, and you can explore the whole map without having to worry about anything. And additionally, you can just like find all the things on the map, and then go out of where beaver form, and then come back and get them. You don't even need the divining rod. This guy is the freaking best. All right, well this is starting to wear off now, so I'm gonna go see if I can get back to my stuff. But man, I love this character already. Ooh, golden butterfly. That's actually part of one of the mods. I don't think that's normally in the game. I forget what mod that's from though. 
it's not from the RPG items mod, which is the mod I added today. It is from... I, I believe it's from the Dawnbreak mod. I don't know why, though. Uh-oh. I'm not dead, am I? Did I die? Okay, no, I didn't... Oh, man. Okay, that's got some bad side effects on you, though. Okay, maybe Woody isn't as great as I thought. Okay, I'm partially going insane. Which is, uh, obviously a problem. Okay, no more chopping trees for you, Woody. Alright, let's grab our stuff, then. Some grass. Where's our twigs? I guess I don't have to grab it in order. Yeah, I missed you too, Lucy. Except for the fact that you made me go crazy. Oh, wow. That actually just happened to go in the same order I had it before. Alright, well, we're gonna unequip that. Because we don't need the axe right now. Right now, I need a way to become sane, which is to pick flowers. So, uh, any flowers I see, I'll start picking them up. But we can get the things that we have gnawed as the beaver, which is awesome, too. Some morsel. Very good. And I'm really hungry, too, so I better get eaten pretty soon. I got enough food to eat, but I want to get sane before I stop to cook, just in case something crazy happens. Don't want to be killed. Alright, so... Note to self, only chop down few trees at a time. Okay, any more flowers around here? Yeah, there's one. Let's grab that. There's another one. Perfect. Alright, um, I'm gonna skip the twigs and stuff for now, just so I can get sane faster, because right now, obviously, it's not a great time to start gathering resources when you're kind of uh, going a little crazy. Gotta fix that first, and then you gotta eat. Which, eating should be okay for us, for now. Alright, there's some bees over here, so there should be a little bit more flowers than normal. At least you would think. Oh, that's probably the most flowerless part of the whole place. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, where the bees aren't. Alright, well here's some flowers, and... That'll get us to a hundred. That's, that's pretty decent for sanity. Alright, so I am keeping an eye on the hunger there. We're okay. But what I'm gonna do now... I'm gonna make a little campfire right here. And we'll cook up this morsel. There we go, double our hunger up. And we could probably... We might be able to eat all this. But I'm definitely gonna cook all the carrots. Alright, 102. Yeah, I guess we can eat all of it then. Yeah, that'll work. And I guess we can cook these seeds too. I forget what... Yeah, it's when you cook them, it gives you health, that's all. Alright, these berries give you a lot more hunger than I thought they did. Um, I guess I can eat one more. And we need some seeds. Yeah, there we go. 150, it's probably the max your stomach can hold for Woody anyway. So yeah, I'm not going to be chopping down any trees anytime soon. But, although that was really awesome. And I can see how you can use that to an advantage because, while well, it did give me a lot of bad side effects, like the sanity, hunger, and health that went down, um, it also gave you a lot of good things that you could do. Like, first of all, I think you're pretty much invincible as that guy. You can't die at night. And also, um, what was the other thing I was going to mention? Oh yeah. Like in adventure mode, if you were looking for all the things, I mean, that's so easy then. Just go into werebeaver mode and... Win. <laughs> yeah, just win, basically. Alright, and... Oh, what the heck was that noise? Weird. Okay, whatever. Alright, and I guess we can spend the rest of this day kind of gathering resources. Lots of grass in here, some rocks. Actually... Let's make a pickaxe. Maybe I can po possibly show. Yes, okay, this pickaxe, as you can see, it's got a question mark on it, which means, I, I'm pretty sure that means it has some sort of enchantment. Um, we will probably not be able to find out exactly what that is, only because I think there's like a certain item, I think it's a magnifying glass that you create, and you use it on that item, and it will tell you what enchantment it has. So, and there's good and bad enchantments. So that applies to any item you craft, 
as well as any item you just pick up on the ground. Like, you know how there's, like, skeletons and sometimes they'll have, uh, like, a pickaxe or an axe or a spear next to them? It applies to those, too. So, really cool mod. Something I really like and actually we can do like that. There we go. You look very pretty, Woody. Alright, we're gonna start making our campfire soon. Probably make it, like, right there. And it's kind of counterproductive making two in one day, but I guess that kind of uh, makes up for the one that I didn't have to make in the past evening or night or whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. All right, so we got some rocks, some flint. Uh, I'm going to get some more rocks pretty soon, hopefully find some gold to add some fuel to this fire. And there we go. That's good. And I guess we can eat these two things. That's That should be okay for now. Yeah. So while we're not doing great on health, everything else is pretty much fine. Um, I guess the limit on logs you can get is around 18 is what I think I was able to pick up before I transformed. So maybe cutting down three big trees is enough because that'll give you like nine logs. And it won't risk going crazy, so that's probably what I'm going to do from now on. And it's okay, because you can't really hold a lot of logs at once at the same time anyway. Like, they only stack in 20, whereas everything else pretty much stacks in 40. So I'm not even going to cut down this tree. I think I'm still okay on logs. And I'm going to want to go north as soon as dawn breaks, so come on, dawn. Come on, I'm just gonna start creeping out here. Okay, that's not good. I wonder what instrument uh, Woody has for his voice. Cause I don't know if you guys knew, but like their voices are like, instruments. You probably noticed that at one point or another. But I wonder what Woody's instrument is. I think I don't really know any of the instruments for any of them actually. It's a wormhole here. I think I'll stay here. We're in a pretty good place for resources right now. Twelve rocks. Getting closer to the point where we can make a base and a science machine. A sapling. We'll grab that. Now this is starting to get into the parts where there's a little bit less resources. And as soon as I'm able to get like a base and start getting settled down, I'm going to make some farms. Whether it's berry bushes or like manure farms, like farm like farm plots that use manure, I should say. I'm not going to farm for manure, otherwise I would just go next to a bunch of beefalo. Okay, there's some gold in there, and there should be gold in each of these rocks as well. So that'll definitely be enough for a science machine. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find enough in there for even more. Get a science machine and an alchemy engine. I'm going to keep collecting some rocks and some logs eventually. Okay, yeah, there's at least three gold in here. I don't see any more, though. But three on the ground, that's really good. In fact, I think I only need one more total piece of gold, which is right here, in order to make a science machine and an alchemy engine. Perfect. All right, we got lots of rocks. Pick up some more. Saving. Very good. So, I'm kind of thinking, I don't know what I want to use the beaver mode form thing, whatever that is. I don't know what I want to use it for in this. Uh-oh. Alright, well, there's a thing over here. I'll pick it up, but I'm not going to be collecting the things in this one. That one, alright, this... Does that have an enchantment? No. Just a regular axe. Fine by me. Yeah, I'll collect the things just because I can have them, and whenever I need them... I mean, I don't know. I probably won't need them, but if I ever did need them, then, well, I have them. Don't have to go looking for them. But, I'm not going to use them to make the teleportato or anything. And that is actually the official name for it, I believe. That portal you make, I believe it's actually called the teleportato. But if I'm wrong, that'd be really funny, because I'd just be talking nonsense here. I almost hope I am wrong. 
Not that it's a bad name or anything, it's a cool name. And it makes sense, because you use, like, well, at least part of it's, like, from a metal potato thing. Alright. That's enough getting stuff like that for now. I think I should have enough rocks, and I don't need to really mine for any more, especially since there's some on the ground here. Alright, some food would be good, though. I haven't seen much in terms of that around here, anyway. Almost maxed out on flint, and that's our last rock that we really need to have for now, because they only stack in 40. And I guess I'll grab this flint as well, it's just on the ground here anyway. There's some twigs. Well, a sapling, which will give me twigs. More flint, very good. But there's like almost no food here, which is the problem. I have a little bit, and this much should be enough to like fill me up a decent amount, but you know, I would really like to have more, and hunting is not as easy as it used to be in this game. Not even close. Alright, so we're, okay, there's some berries, there we go. I'll grab that. And we're almost maxed out in flint. We only need one more. I see one over here, but there was more over here, and also I want to explore this area to see what it's like. There's a mod, actually. This just came to mind because I was thinking of the tell potato thing. There's a mod that if you complete it, all the stuff on the map that, like, uh... What's it called? Um, that you uncover as you explore. If you complete the tell potato, it makes the whole map uncovered so you can see everything. Now that seems a little bit cheaty for me, but at the same time it is really, it's good and it kind of somewhat rewards your efforts for completing the tile potato. It just seems like a little too much for me. I almost installed it just because it would give me incentive to get all the things and also it'll save me some time and effort of exploring the whole map. You know what, let's see if we can kill this guy, oh no his hole's right there. Probably can't. Let's get him. Come on, get him. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Alright, so that should be good for food for a little bit anyway. Hopefully we'll find more tomorrow. A.K.A. next episode. See, I, I can keep track now because it's easier and it's not eternal night. And... We started fresh, so that makes it a little easy to tell time. wonder why there's just like that little bit of like the path there. I don't know, that's weird. There's like, I guess these biomes are just completely odd generation. It's, it is supposed to happen, it's not like a glitch or anything, it's just really strange. Alright, we are starting to get back into the... Okay, there we go, some more food. Starting to get back into some of the areas that have more resources, other than just that the area I was in, which only really had trees and rocks, so let's build our fire. Not gonna lie, I almost forgot to do that. I wasn't really keeping track of how long the evening lasts. And let's cook the carrots first, because they seem to be going bad the soonest. And let's cook the berries because they're gonna go bad the next soonest, and we could probably eat all these. And I'm gonna keep the seeds for now. And I wouldn't underestimate the seeds because, like, for every three seeds, you get like one whole carrot. Actually, you get more than that. So these seeds are pretty decent, and although I only have five of them, that kind of adds up. So that's gonna serve us well in the future. Well. I guess not really necessarily in the future. It's going to serve us well all the time, as long as I keep picking them up. And also, I want to hold on to them and for the point where I get to actually start making the farms. Then that way, I'll have something to plant, and the seeds can grow into anything from, like, carrots. You can get carrots out of them. You can get eggplants. You can get... It's another good vegetable. You can get, you can get corn. You can get lots of good things from the seeds, so they are very, very worth it. Oh, great. And it's raining. 
which wouldn't be so bad except for my fire's kind of low and ooh thunder all right there we go nice and dawn ish i guess i don't know so hopefully we'll be able to find all right that seems to be a swamp i don't really want to go in there then which uh, begs the question as to why I'm actually walking into it. I'm completely surrounded by swamp. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, we don't need this. Goodbye, swamp. We'll explore you later. AKA, probably never. I don't know why I'm saying AKA so much today. Whoa, that was. That was odd. It made everything darker afterwards when that happened. Alright, let's get out of here. Anyway, that is going to do it for me for today, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll continue to enjoy the series with Woody, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone, have a great day.